It's not as though school pride was necessarily lacking at Seward High before. But after a new program was implemented last year, students have a renewed interest in finding and rewarding the good they see around them. Our Lance Schwartz joins us now from the Courthouse Square in our town, Seward. Every day at Seward High School, they say, don't hide that Blue Jay pride. And now with the new pride program in place, students are nominated for displaying a pride behavior. And at the end of the week, names are drawn to win prizes. So what do you guys think was the best part about the pride program this year? Jill Johnson is the assistant principal at Seward High School. So our pride program is really our positive behavior intervention and support program, which is a research based program. Jill says this new program highlights students for all of their positive contributions to the school. Even though they're the right things we're supposed to do and we want to keep doing them, it's saying, hey, good job. I'm recognizing this and acknowledging it and then in hopes that those students will replicate those behaviors. PRIDE is an acronym that stands for preparation, respect, integrity, dedication, and effort. To me, Blue Jay Pride is all about gaining the recognition to the students who go out of their way to do the good stuff. Students but like Cordell Verbka and Amelia Hansen are all in the with the new PRIDE program. I think it was a great way to bring our whole student body and staff and our principals together and everyone kind of felt like a big community and we were all one and it wasn't different groups that were trying to do everything and people were looking out for everyone. Every term we meet and bring the whole student body together, 500 plus people, and we celebrate the accomplishments for the term and we try to recognize and highlight, showcase some of our uh, special talent and Stacy is one of those that we featured and Stacy is the fastest female cup stacker in the state of Nebraska. And so the crowd loved her. They went crazy, uh, especially when she beat Mr. Plocky, our uh, high school PE teacher. So uh, she's uh, one of our proud and accomplished students. We developed this matrix out of talking with a lot of our, our school staff, our members of the committee, and offered suggestions. Scott Axt students. is the principal at Seward High School. It's been great to see not only our students show off talents that they have, but also some of our staff being recognized. I love seeing custodians, teachers. We've had substitute teachers be recognized. Um, again, our community has been wonderful. We've had community members that have come in and donated prizes for our students and wanting to support this program. And as you might imagine, this program will be back again in the fall after a very strong first year of being integrated into the culture of the school. And I've got a feeling it will be even more impressive and impactful in year number two. Thank you, Lance. Now coming up at six, we'll head back to our town sewer to check out some heavenly works of art that Concordia is sharing with people all around the world. Looking forward to that. We will update your forecast next.